That's really good. It's not definitely not long. Long. All right, pitching wedge never does me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> looking the wrong way because he can't see. Anyways, welcome back to another video. Man, Steve, you need to go to the gym. You need to go to the chiropractor. Maybe they can stretch you out some. Welcome back to another Steve Casey video. That's we are out here at you. Sunflower Hour doing a different challenge. This is something I've never done before. We got 14 clubs, so I was thinking, I did the how many holes can we play with like 10, 15, whatever strokes. How many holes can we play with 14 clubs? Can't use the same club. Once you, you use it, eight. I get 18 since I'm a little better than everybody. So I get the extra, extra four. Totally yeah. It does make sense. Anyways, about it. 14 strokes. You can't use the same clubs once. So we're going to see how many holes we can play. Whoever wins gets... All right. Duncan Let's cat. get into it. Duncan Cat. Anyways, uh, yeah. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers. So anything helps. Anyways, like the video. If you want another one of these, maybe okay. more clubs. Let us know if we start a vlog channel. Go comment. Like the video. You know the vibes, boys. Par 4. I don't know how long we're going to last, but it should be a par 4 par five a par four if it anybody is, makes it longer than that then they win it's just the furthest down the course wins right yeah my ball is two inches farther you on the last hole only have last 11 clubs. clubs so that i get to use some of yours like yeah nine so, oh my lord the All fact right. that he only has 11 clubs hey <laughs> listen to this steven so i get to use 14 clubs and i get to use four clubs over again yes oh. and you get to pick which one so basically if you want to use the driver again you can yeah three more times First i can use hole, a driver using driver on anyway all right yeah hole one See, this doesn't make any sense to me hole two if you hit three wood it's a good play off the tee three wood's a good play off the tee on no, it's not. you don't want to hit four iron into that how about we hit the first shot and then we figure it out all right here's garrett good luck have fun hole one you already know the vibes that's uh Cutting out right a little bit. Once again, we do not have a tripod, so it might be a little shaky off the start. Probably gonna be in the right rough. Yeah, right rough. Not bad though. It's uh, it's not Garrett's. It's actually Matt's. Atta <laughs> boy. Actually, is my two arm too, by the way. All right, who's two? I, the fact that Matt even thinks he owns that is stupid because it's actually that's mine. mine. True. Matt <laughs> is now my owner. Yeah, we. Matt's gone. We got rid of him. We threw him over there. Anyways, he's gonna be using a two iron. Garrett lost his driver after this shot. The two iron will be disappearing. Blue blue. Oh that's my. a duck hook. No, the hat, it's the two iron, I'm telling you. Right behind a tree, it's, actually touched actually the tree. That's actually a really good spot to be. Okay, okay I don't want to hear that. Boom. Boom, they're gone. This Sweet. club sucks, I don't even know why I hit it. Anyway, yeah. If you hit the subscribe button, 2020 is going to turn around for you. And only you, Jimmy. He's talking to you, Jimmy. Leave a comment down below. I'm telling you, Phil's out there too, just wondering. Yeah. Garrett watches the videos. I, dude, shout out to Garrett. Yeah. Anyway. Huge shout out. That one's gonna be a little right, the Steven fade. I could be like Tig. Actually, I've been there like 10 times, there's an opening right there. Tig lost his two iron, Garrett lost his driver, and I have the choice to use my driver again since I have 18 clubs instead of 14, so yeah. All right, here's where Tig has landed. He does actually have a little gap. He's just gonna go. have to go under the trees. I think I'm gonna hit a little eight iron. Eight iron. Eight iron is gone. Why do we have the same Under Armour, basically the same clothes? And different iron. pants, different shoes, different socks, different undershirt, and a different shirt. But we have the same clothes on. About different. Think about that. Bradley, what are you wearing currently? <laughs> <laughs> Bradley, take the camera out and show them. So that's legitimately what I was just thinking. I was remembering the cutouts I used to do of the screen, pull out with the camera and show me and talk. So Bradley, right now, you have your first appearance on a YouTube video for Steven. Take the camera, cut it out, show yourself. Show us your drip. Here is Tig. All right, he's aiming at a tree, what but- What are you using? Eight iron. Eight. I'm scared. Oh, oh my. Oh no. Did that stay out left, Tig? I have a feeling it's going to be right in the rough. Yeah, right in the rough. Left rough. That wasn't good. What do you have to say? <sighs> Just not not hitting good. Guys, we've walked up on Steven's ball over here on the right side. He actually has a pretty different... He actually has a pretty decent look at the green here. All right, what club do you got, Steve? A uh, nice little six. Punch it out. All right, he's got the six iron here, folks. But going backwards is even better. That hit that limb really good. You hit it solid. It was oh, a I good know. shot. I'm gonna think I'm gonna use the six iron again. So now Steven needs to get it to the fairway. I would not get aggressive with this. You think you think what I'm thinking? I'm thinking aim at the hundred stick. <laughs> I 
Is it good? <laughs> it's in the fairway by the red. Okay, so I didn't get to zoom in on that, unfortunately, hey. because it hit a tree and then it bounced to the fairway stick. Trust me. I still can make par though. Get up and down. Here's where Garrett landed. We're gonna go to his ball first. What are you using? A baby 52 degree. I'm guessing I got 115. That's gotta fit. That flew. Oh, that should be good. Oh, it's so long. I knew it was a flyer lie, guys. Pitching wedge. I gotta get there and tap in for par. It's your fourth shot. You just have 18 clubs. Yep, that's really good. It's not definitely not long. Long? All right, pitching wedge never does me wrong. <laughs> All right, here's where Tig landed. He has used his two iron and eight iron. What are you thinking? Got a little 60 degree. You're gonna kind of have to go up and over this tree a little bit, but since the wind's kind of into me, I should be able to stop it if I hit a good shot. Way up. Oh, and that. That's good. I don't know if you can see it. I think that's pretty close, okay? That could save me. I have no clue how close it is. Yeah, we'll see. All right, here is what we are looking at. Garrett is off the green. Oh, gosh, Tig. Okay, I just looked at Tig's ball. He has a tap in. So I'm hitting three wood on the next hole. Uh-huh. I'll need four iron into the green or two iron. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to use my four iron here. And then on the next hole after that, I'm hitting, like, pitching wedge into the green. Dead club to everybody. Nobody ever uses, uses it. Iron. Exactly. It's in. It's in. It's in, baby. Hit Mike's ball. Hit Mike's it's ball. Right. No stymie. My ball goes back to that. Guys, just so you know, my ball, my ball goes back to that position, okay? But Garrett. Rules of golf when you're off the green, if I do hit your ball, my ball stays where it's at right now. What are we gonna do? Make your ball go further down the way? <laughs> no. The fact that Mike's ball wasn't marked he did just saved lucky, my life. Otherwise that would have been down there. Yeah, that just saved me. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna use a five iron to try to tap in. This is gonna That's be sick. That's really nice. I should have marked that ball because otherwise Garrett would have been down a club already. But guess what? Why didn't you move it? <laughs> All right, Steven here up the hill for his fifth shot here, fifth folks. Fifth club. Fifth club and fifth shot, Steven. Oh. That one is going to be... <laughs> Steven is on his sixth shot. What club are you going to use now? Go ahead, tap in. Tap in with five. Is this his fourth club? Yeah, this is my five iron. Yeah. All right, boom. Now you're nine. Boom. All right, so that that's Steven got Why a six. Using... I'm going to take seven iron because I don't believe I'll be using seven iron in today's challenge. All right, bang. All right, let's. Out of the first hole, Mike and I started off with the four. I used driver, 52 degree, five iron, and seven iron. Okay. Micah used two iron, eight iron, 60 degree, and five iron. Steven? Driver, six iron, six iron. Pitching wedge, five iron. Five iron. Nine iron. Nine iron. We're going to go on to hole two, par five, dog leg left. I am so challenged right now. Here's Garrett. We're going to let him go ahead and slap a ball up there. Yeah, he's going to slap a nice little onto the other fairway. See, he still has a two iron. So I think that he was just strategizing so that he could use his two iron and still go for the green from there. Last video in Steven's and I's challenge, <gasps> I, I hooked it OB and I was so scared of it again. I'm not going to. I'm not even going to cap. Don't test it. All right, we got Tig but with his. Mike uh, hooked his last tee shot. Oh, Ooh. that's going to be through the fairway. But that's, that's a good shot. That's uh, probably going to be underneath the big tree, but I, if I get lucky. I think I hit something, so I'm probably not going to be Yeah. You know what this sounds like? Yeah. Horse hoofs. <laughs> I'm going to hit my driver again. All right, good idea. Steven's got driver here. Dead straight. Steven's not even slicing. That was perfect. Yeah, gonna get in the slot. yeah that's going to be fine. That was hit really good. Appreciate it. Nice shot. If you haven't liked the video by, by now, I'm going to cut Tig's hair off. We're going to need to recharge the cart to go get Garrett's get, get ball. <laughs> you know the regular lions? He's like a teacup lion. <laughs> I know like Steven and I can look like a lot of different animals. Steven can look like a llama, a horse. I can look like a rat, a giraffe, whatever. But I just noticed something. Matt could low-key look like any animal. Like Bradley right now on the screen, put like a list of 10 animals that Matt might look like. And I think he does. Look, Dude, no, he could literally like, transform to any animal. Mosquito, like just think of a bunch of animals. Teacup line we got right here. <coughs> Teacup line. All right, here is where Garrett has landed. He has to go through all these trees or hit a massive slice like he did off the tee. And he'll be all right. I could just hit nine iron here. I think that's my good play. Definitely the best play. Yeah, he's gonna use his nine iron. Has not used it yet, so we're gonna see. And that just goes right over the trees. That's a good shot. Steven's got 210 yards over here in the left row. Pretty good position. 
All right, Steven's gonna hit two iron. He actually did hit two iron on the range, but it don't matter at all. This is kind of what he's looking at, guys. And he's hitting a draw now. That one is gonna just be on the left side. It's gonna be fine. It'll land over there in that patch. Yeah, that's okay over there. That was hit so good. I know, I don't know why I'm hitting a draw. I trusted the slice and it didn't do it. All right, Tig absolutely crushed his driver. What do you have left that you can use? I'm gonna use his uh, pitching wedge. Ooh. I have not used that yet. The wind hit that so hard. You hit it way too hard. That literally got so caught up in the wind, it's unbelievable. I thought it was down good. That was a good shot. It was drawn perfectly, just in the bunker. Here's what Tagaret's looking at. This isn't good. All right, I'm hitting pitching wedge, and it might be way too much club. He actually has a nice little shot to the green. That was such a bad shot. <laughs> Garrett, we were talking in Garrett's backswing just to get him a little off. And he's going to be... That was so bad, though. Yeah, that was not good. All right, Tig didn't actually go into the bunker. He's a little short. Garrett's right over there, and then I'm on just the other side of this hill. We're all chipping up. Tig, do you, have you, you've already used your 60, so you're using a... 56. Yep, this is what you want to do. That's going to be a nice little five, six footer. Seven. Ah, man, I can't decide if I want to use putter. I might what if use you putter. use putter and you missed it? That would suck. After <laughs> what? Steven's ball actually barely stayed in. That's kind of legendary. Steven's got 60 degree here up the hill to get up and down for birdie. I'm for birdie too, but I'm not on the green. Why is he opening up the face so much? Like, why do you need to hit a flop from freaking right there? I mean. <laughs> okay, you get one try. <laughs> you know he's been at the house that I'm doing. Well, listen to this. In our last match, Mike is like, if this sticks, you have to buy me Duncan. He tried it three times and finally got it. And then he was like, all right, you got to buy me Duncan. Then the outro is us at Duncan. I, it's opposite day, okay? <laughs> Mr. Ponytail. Here you go. <laughs> I'll buy you a horse if I make this. We've been very indecisive on horses because Steven Ooh. wants the best of the best. Yeah, blue ribbon winner. Actually, the main reason we haven't got a horse is because I haven't been in Kansas where they what would live. Get, what if we get a horse sponsorship? Anybody that has horses and wants them to be in videos, a lot of promotion, just hit us up. <laughs> you almost had yourself a horsey. And then we got Tig. We're going to let him go. If this sticks, I'll buy you Chipotle. I'll order it right after this. Damn. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> Chipotle, no. He threw it. It hit the butt, bounced up, I and then stuck. Oh. <laughs> All right. You will see a picture of me ordering Tig Chipotle. No, and he can go you can't keep doing this. <laughs> This is some cheese. All right, take this one, Chipotle. Anyways, you don't get guac, though. Steven down the hill. <laughs> no, that's there, Micah. Quit laughing. That's there. Just tap it in. Bradley, edit that ball going in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let me finish this off. Dude, can you stop freaking tapping that little thing? Dude. I have used a total of 11 clubs so far. And that's just no going to be short. That broke right. All right, this is for Garrett's sixth club of the hole. Tap oh. it in. I just made bogey on the easiest hole before. All right, Tig's using a putter. He, he only brought his putter, so he has a lot of confidence in his game. And that is a good old bird. That was a good hole because I won Chipotle and I made birdie. <laughs> 11 minus 18. Book maps, seven clubs. Okay, just shut up. Listen to this. I will tell you what you have left. Hey. Okay, right now. Steven Gasmeda. Yeah, yeah. You made par there. I know. Congrats. Thank you. I have two iron. 8 iron, I have 6 iron, and putter. I have 3 iron, 4 iron, I got 52, 7 iron, and 6 iron. 3 wood. He has 6 clubs, he's at 8 strokes, Steven. Steven, you made 5 there, right? I made so a 6 on the last 11 one. 11 shots in. Minus you 18. 18. So you have 7 clubs left. Steven can use whatever clubs he wants, right? Yeah, so I'll just go, I have a 3 wood on the first table, that's what we're going to say. It goes 7, 6, 4. Alright, here is hole 3, you already know, a par 4. I Garrett is going to be using his 2 iron. That's a good shot. Nice little fade right up in the middle to the probably the 150 stage. Yep. Atta boy. Here we go. We got Tig with a three wood. That is also what I'll be using. Oh, that's gonna be right. That's gonna be right on the edge. That's that's... Club. I love it. 
That's right oh. on the edge. That might be blocked out by that. That could tree. be blocked out by the tree. All right, we got Steve with three wood. Pretty good, Steve. Good shot. <clears throat> Zoom in on that. Okay. Okay, so here's where I landed. Garrett is landed over there, and then Tig is blocked out by a tree somewhere up there. We'll go find it here in a minute. You've used six iron. Yeah. Have you used seven iron? You've not. You've not used seven iron. Steven with seven iron here from about eh, 180. Yep. Put some mustard and biscuits. Oh, I hit a draw. You kind of didn't hit it good though. I didn't even do anything. Honestly, I don't know what I did. It went left though. It's fine. I'm a club up right now. I'm looking into you guys' eyes. That's so You're weird. Like, it's like you look. Here's Garrett. What do you have left, Garrett? Eight iron here. All right, he's gonna be hitting an eight. Oh, I like this. That's that that's gonna long. be real close. That's not long. That's a little long. Maybe it is long. That's a little, little bit that long. short though. Look at that steady hand with the camera. Look at this steady hand with the camera. Go. Is it actually pretty steady? Yeah. That's basically like a human gimbal right there. All right, here is Tig, just behind a tree. What are you gonna be using? All right, guys, some people might see a problem here, but I see opportunity, okay? I have a 52 degree, and I'm gonna be hitting just a little bit of a draw because I gotta go kind of keep it low. Got about 120. You're telling me there's oh a chance. Oh my gosh, that's good. No, that's way long. You go. No, that, the green. that landed on the front side, but it's gonna roll off to the left. <laughs> see, the difference is, I don't hit the green so it can't roll off. You're lucky this divot is gonna trip me if I run at you. Exactly. You mean you, you mean that, you're lucky the divot's there so he'd fall in it if he ran at you. Yeah, if you ran at me, you just that divot. What? You would disappear in that divot. You're talking about yourself. You can't see above the grass. Say in theory Micah makes bogey and I make birdie. We tie. Tell me how many clubs you have left. Four. Okay, so if you use three from here, aka bogey, and I birdie, we both have one club left. Steven also has a very good chance. because He had seven clubs coming into this hole. He's used two of them, so you have five clubs left. You have one more than Micah left. Yeah, I have a 60 degree left. <laughs> he takes a full swing from everywhere. <laughs> like, So the four clubs that Steven has left that he has actually not used at all, 52 degree, 56 degree, eight iron, and putter. If he three putts here, that's going to be a double bogey. But if he two putts, he wins. He's gonna be using his four iron. Really gets down and reads the green. That came off quick. All right, that came off quick. That's gonna be his par putt. This is Garrett's birdie putt. Garrett has to make this. All right, Steven's got putter. I'm also gonna be using putter. Yep. This ain't mark a ball. And go again. All right, Steven, now putt. Sit. Okay, I need Steven to miss that so I have a chance and I need Micah to miss it. I'm not gonna make. All right, here's Garrett. He literally has to make this. Here we go. Oh, sit down, sit down, sit, sit down. It doesn't matter because I had to make it. You That's lost? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm out. So I have to make this to have a chance of making birdie on the next one. Mm -hmm. Came off the tip. <laughs> this is for a bogey. Oh my! So what clubs do you have left? Micah, Steven has two clubs left. He made bogey there? He made double there. Okay, count it up then. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steven still has two clubs left, which I means... I can make it on the next one. Yeah, if Micah technically makes it... Technically, I'm gonna already, try and tap in. You already won. I, technically, I already won, but we're gonna play the last hole just for horses and giggles. No, no, hit that's a pro V! That's a pro A! <laughs> Alright, he just sliced it into the other hole. That's a pro V. Yeah, he sliced it. He can, get, it. he can go what get it. What if that would have went in the water? It wasn't gonna go in the water, and if it did, I would have bought a new one. This is the final hole. 157 yard par three. Right, it's gonna be our final hole. I have two clubs left. I already won, but I said if Tig makes it, then he wins. Alright, we're gonna let Tig go first. How about you let me go first? <laughs> Sometimes my recording is bad, but it's because we need a tripod. <laughs> yeah, let's blame it on the tripod. I agree. We actually do. How you doing? How we doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Alright, Steven here with eight iron. Could actually potentially make birdie here on the last hole. Just one. Well, if Micah makes it, he wins. Wouldn't this be a crazy finish if it goes in? No way. Go. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> so close. Dude, you... Oh my gosh. I would have jumped in the water for sure. I would have jumped in the water. I would have jumped in the water. No, I would have done it first. I would have done it second. So, I have a club left. The boys don't. I want a challenge! You want a challenge? <laughs> what? No, oh, I'll see if I can chip in. Just for the uh, chunks and giggles. This is how you hit bunker shots. Oh, that's pretty good, Steve. I, I really like your follow through right now. You're really, you're really like, getting through the ball, and it's looking really good. Thank you. Let's just finish this hole out with these clubs. Guys, look at this. Whoa. So here's the hole. That's where it landed, and that's where it stopped. That ah, man, that's a pretty good shot. Gave it a good effort. Unfortunately, I'm out of clubs. Steve, gonna try to make a par, and uh, that's just not gonna do it. Let's see if you can make birdie. Let's see if I can make birdie. He made Paul. He made a birdie to finish it out. That's why I like these challenges because I actually have a chance. <laughs> Force it, Duncan. No. Duncan. No. D All right, we got to go to my phone so Tate can order his stupid Chipotle. I think I'm gonna dock that because I've already had Chipotle today. We'll do it tomorrow. Wait, I, I said I, you would order it off I my know, phone. I know, but we the folks trust you. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I ended up getting the dub for once in my life. It happens probably once a blue moon, which blue moon, I don't know if I've ever seen it before. Congrats. But if you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you're old, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> uh, pretty solid challenge. I did a peak Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much else to say. I struggled out there on the course today, but I, I do want to thank all my fans. The trees over there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, we five. We got Jimmy, Steve, and Timmy, as well as <laughs> Phil over there. So. Philly. Yeah, right. thank you guys for staying tuned to today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. This sticks. And Gary buys me dumb. <laughs> oh! <laughs> did that just cancel? <laughs> cancel. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, if no, it no, sticks. no, If it sticks. Don't. No! Oh! Oh! No, 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 no. I posted that. Did you get that on film? I don't know how good, but I got it landing. Oh. <laughs> I want to give her a whirl. Okay, I get to cancel. I get to cancel. Dude, okay, yeah. I get to cancel. Go, hey. go, go, go. Oh my, I didn't know we are throwing it. Right, hey, right, hey, right. hey. All right, I want to give her a whirl. Yeah, Steve, I want to give her a whirl. Oh, that was close. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just some messing around. We'll see you in the next one, Pete.